Hello and welcome to another Grand Arena Championships. I'm Heathen13 and this is Season 15, Week 3, Round 1. My opponent this round is Petija, or at least that's how I'm going to pronounce it. So let's look at the matchup. I have almost all of the green on my side of the hot pot. And when we zoom into the statistics, you can see I have an overwhelming advantage in all of the stats. But there is one stat that sticks out to me more than all of the rest here. And I think it's going to be the key to this matchup. And that is Guild GP. You can see my Guild Return of the BC has a Guild GP of 252 million. And Petija, his Guild is only 164 million. And you'll see the consequences of being in a guild with a lower GP reflected in his roster. So let's compare our rosters. I have a advantage on total GP, top 80, top 65. I have roughly 30 more Zetas than he does and a pretty decent speed advantage over him. I have more G13s, more G12s. I have a pretty sizable advantage in just total number of six dot mods as well as speed secondaries. Relics were very close. Although, because I have more G13s, it means his average relic character is higher than mine. Now here's where that low guild GP comes into play. When we look at the meta character report, you can see he does not have General Skywalker. He also does not have Watt. Not related to guild GP, but he also doesn't have a Jedi Knight Luke. But then here in Chips, he doesn't have either the Negotiator or the Malevolence, and that gives me a huge advantage. So let's look at his roster and see what else we can see. Right there in the fleet arena, you can see he's using a Thrawn lead. And when we check out the other capital ships, you can see he does have the finalizer, but he also doesn't have Radis. So he needs four ship fleets and he only has five capital ships total. So this round, it was really important for me to look at his roster carefully because he is not on SWGOH.GG. So I don't have any idea what his history is like. All I had to go off of is what teams he had well geared and make sure I had a plan to counter his best teams. But like I said, he doesn't have gas, so he's probably running a shock T with clones. He has a few relic bounty hunters. He does have a relic of Vader and Palpatine and Thrawn. He's got a good Padme team. A relic Brood, but only a gear 11 spy. A couple relic Night Sisters. None of the Rebels have relics, though. A couple relics on some resistance. So this is interesting, he has a Relic for B1, but his Grievous is still gear 11. On Sith, he has the Triumvirate, only Scion is Relic, and then looking at Sith Empire, his Darth Revan and his Basti are both Relic, but Malak is still six stars. Again, hard to get that guild currency when you are in a low GP guild. We've got about four hours left in the attack phase. Let's take a look at the board and see what we both placed. All right, so I'm going to show you my defense first. It's very similar to what I've been setting for the last couple of weeks. I was not worried about this guy scouting me since he's not on SWGOH.GG himself. So up top, I did set Hux and some First Order. I set my Jedi Knight Luke, Basila, and this Maul team down south. I've tried to invite him to come down south with this Dooku squad with Ness, this Poggle and Django, and my Grievous, thinking maybe he will go away from the Jedi Knight Luke and come down here instead. And in the back, I've got my Darth Revan waiting for him, along with Mon Mothma, this Asajj, uh, Newt, and my relic Rebels that are trash. If he does go through the top, I have my negotiator waiting for him. Even with Hound's Tooth, I figured make it as hard as possible. I don't think he has a squad that's gonna be able to get through that. So we shall see. My guess is that he is able to clear the front two zones eventually and then get stuck on the back two. All right, let's see what he set for me. 
He set up Basti, Jolie, GK squad. So a timeout team. He has a crew squad. He set his Vader with Mission and Zalbar. That's a throwback to uh, months ago. That was kind of one of those teams that people thought was pretty good. Let's hope I don't screw that up. And then his Shock T clones. Down south, he's got Newt Dooku Nest. He's got his really weak Grievous. And then Gear 12 Ewoks. Unfortunately, my nest is on defense today, so I can't just nest them. But there is a feat for getting kills with resistance, so I'm going to go in against them with my Fin Fin Poe and see if we can't get some kills with resistance. Alright, so let's take out Elder. And we'll keep passing the inspiration around. Go ahead and throw that, get him out. Let's uh, give Paplu a stun. No, not quite. And I need to adjust the sound because I feel like the sound effects are way too high. We'll do that right after the battle is over. All right. Only 53, I was missing protection somewhere. Let's go after Grievous. We will take Night Sisters. It failed me last time, but this Grievous is really weak. And so hopefully it won't fail me this time. I'm gonna go with the uh, plague. See if we can stun Droidica. I think we're just going to try and kill Droidica. Go with the mass assist. I almost feel like we should be going after Grievous here. Let's see if we can get a... Uh, he's already marked. Grievous is going to die quick, so let's see if I can heal up. And then we'll... Take him out. I know maybe I could have used a better team and got more than 51 banners there, but this way it allows me to save a lot for the back. Again, he has no history for me to look at, so I'm not sure what to expect back there. I'm trying to be frugal with my teams up front. I'm gonna take Geos against this squad. Newt, Dooku, and Nest are all gear eight. So. Uh, let's see if I can just... Couldn't quite. That's fine. We'll sit and attack Nest for a while. I stupidly used um, the Brute Alpha's middle uh, ability early, which was dumb, because that would have brought everybody out of um, stealth. So I'll have to wait for that. Ooh, I think I'm going to heal up already. So hopefully we'll get that ability back up. Oh, you know what? Let's go after Newt now. Now that he's available for the, at the moment. Wow, it feels like my sound effects are so loud. And I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, I think this was a kill him. Her. Kill her. Let's pay the extortion. really low on health so even though I'm paying the extortion and get my assists I'm gonna have to get another heal off and even that I don't think is going to heal me up enough and actually I'm not even gonna get to a heal yep not even gonna get to it so 51 that's disappointing for Geos all right, let's take a look at what he hid in the back. Guessing something strong? I, I don't actually know. All right, yeah, so he hid some decent teams back here. So give me a moment, I'm gonna make a plan and I will be back at some point to finish this up. All right, we're back and I have a plan. I believe to get through all of this, we will go through the top 
and try to get to ships. I'm going to try to take out this uh, timeout team with Mando. So that's actually not the team I want. I want Bosk with Grief and Mando. And we'll see if we can't um, take them out. It's going to be a little difficult because Kenobi's taunting and he is not the weakest one. So we'll pile on Basila while we can. And then we'll just kind of be stuck for a little bit. We'll hit um, Basti every chance we get to try and get the contract up. But it will take a little bit. I'm only 50% at this point. That's all right. Take a little bit, but we will get it eventually. Uh, every time that Mando gets to take a turn, he can go around the taunt. And... Dodge. Okay, that's not great. We're at 70. In the meantime, we can just bang on Kenobi. With such a um, low-geared Basila, there really just is not very much damage here. And I should bring the contact tracked up. There we go. So let's go after Jolie, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Because I'm going to disintegrate Kenobi and uh, should end this no problem with 54. Just gonna take a little time to get Mando's disintegrate up again. Normally, this team might be a little scarier with uh, Basila being able to put out some damage, but at gear 11, it's not even a concern. Okay, two more. Oh, we even got through her uh, protection, so we'll take out Jolie, and we may just kill her off the old-fashioned way. Yeah, it looks like it. And here we go. Alright, like it when it works. Uh, crew will take JTR more resistance kills so the wiggle the wave and let's go kill well, actually let's go ahead and stealth and we'll kill the fox as long as I'm in stealth I'll go ahead and do that I'm gonna wait until I get my wave back up to start hitting Kylo, because he's got retribution. Uh, we'll continue to stealth. And we will get our healing immunity up and see if we can get a stun on crew. Oh, nice. Wasn't really expecting that. Don't know what his tenacity is, but glad that worked. Um, now we'll just take a little bit so we can get another healing immunity up and hopefully this will take long enough that I can wrap around and get we'll definitely get one illuminated destiny I don't think that's going to be enough to heal BB-8 we'll see no not quite um, so we could play this out see if we can get maximum banners I think we'll probably do that just kind of naturally do that because I don't think I'm it's going to take a while to get through an R4 uh, crew anyway. So we'll just continue to wave down, wiggle. And we'll do basics and we'll do hiding and stuff like that. Try and extend it out until we can... Uh, until we can get another limited destiny. Although it's going to be close. It's going to be very close. Yeah, I might not get it. Yeah, not... White, maybe? No. Okay. Well, 53 is fine. All right. With this Shock T clones, we will take the full CLS squad with Han and Chewie. Let's 
see if we can get rid of shock sooner rather than later. Get rid of fives' taunt. So we might want to just get rid of fives. Yeah, let's just get rid of fives here. Thank goodness for guard. Otherwise, I think Khan would have been dropped by now. Oh, well, he might get dropped anyway. This might be a fail. That sucked. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this down without Han. This fives is just going wild. Well, that is unfortunate for sure. All right, well, let's not turn meter load them. Let's go ahead and bring gas in instead. I guess I should have just done this the first time. All right, well, that means I'm gonna bring Padme against Vader. And that should work, I would assume. He's, they're gonna get a bunch of dots on me and then I'm gonna cleanse them all off. And we're gonna actually, yeah, go ahead and do that. Now we don't actually cleanse them off because Vader's dots don't go away, but uh, we are able to turn them into protection. And with Zalvar and Mission only being gear 11, they should go down pretty quick. Let's stun Vader. Oh, let's just kill him. Um, I did lose protection though, that's a bummer. So, and I'm not gonna have time to get it back up. So, only a 51. All right, let's see what he put for ships and how undersized we can make, we can do them. We've got the finalizer and we've got a mace fleet. Frankly, I don't know. Uh, like, I guess I'll just go against the finalizer with my separatists. I don't, I don't actually know. Let's bring one. We'll leave a couple spots open. Uh, not only seen people use finalizer to counter rebels so I don't want to bring my rebels against them but I don't actually know if this is the right thing to do uh, they don't have crews tie silencer out at the moment so let's get rid of that buff immunity and we'll get Kylo Ren's shuttle out of here right from the get-go spread some bud droids clear the um, foresight I should go down quickly and we did get somebody out but it's not anybody good all right well we'll bring a reinforcement out because I think we'll just be able to blow him up um, he's got more turn meters so we'll kill him first and there we go all right with my other one, I will go with my home one. All right. I don't, I always feel like I, I'm taking too much, but if you ever lose one, it just sucks. So I figure better to bring too much and too little. We'll work on fives first. We'll get the shield disruptor up on this guy. So he's gonna go down quick. And then we'll work on fives. Uh, 
Thought I'd be able to get him there. We got Clone Sergeant. Um, sure, we'll bring Phantom. Go with a big hit. Let's take five. Oh, nice, some good assisting. Um, let's bring in Cassian. And we'll get the big assist. Uh, almost got him out. He's gone, and one more shot should do it. All right, so we have the bottom to do, and uh, doesn't look like my opponent has even started yet, so we'll see if he even comes back to attack eventually. Um, so we are gonna go after bugs with Vader. And we'll take the Thrawn. No reason to do any undersize or anything here. So Force Crush and Merciless. We will do our Yeah, I think Spy might just die from one hit. Nice. And we'll hit Brood. Yeah, he's gonna hit me back, that's fine. And we'll hit him. We will force crush again and then we will just hit again. I don't <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't want to throw because the brood is just going to summon him back. So we'll wait, we'll give it a round. Kill the soldier. Well, we'll kill the brood now and the soldier and be done. So it turns out that counterattack stole a banner. All right, we will go after the Night Sisters with Crew with Watt. Where are you, Crew with Watt? go and weapons tech over on executioner get rid of the taunt tank tech on crew and start working towels and down let's go ahead and stun stun zombie so she can't taunt just need to get the kill with Executioner. We got the taunt back, though. So that's a bummer. Well, let's clear the taunt and hit Daka once and see if this will kill. Yes, nice. Can't bring her back, Talzin. So I'll we'll work on Daka. Oh, can't bring Talzin back, Daka. That's what I meant to say. We knew what I meant. Back to Daka. Will I have enough time to heal up on Watt? Probably not. Uh, but maybe. I could try. Um, I could try hitting Zombie for a little bit. See if Watt gets a chance to get his heals up the rest of the way. He's got a bunch of uh, heal over time on him, so it's possible. Oh, don't. Don't do that. Okay, let's stun her so she stays in timeout. Nice. Okay. I think we're all full. So we'll go ahead and kill Daka and then kill Zombie and be done. Alright, now these last two, I'm not sure about how I want to handle them exactly. So I'm going to try something I haven't tried before. I'm gonna... Oh, I have Jedi Knight Revan, too. I didn't even remember that. Okay, well... Hmm. Alright, well, somehow in my planning of what teams I was gonna use, I forgot that I had Jedi Knight Revan available, so I'll use him in a sec, but let's try using the clones versus bounty hunters. Is that a thing? I don't know. I think it should work. I get to uh, put tenacity up, 
so that they won't um, they can't land burning or ability block and I'll eventually get to execute um, Bosk and meanwhile Ark is going to um, get rid of the taunt constantly And if I can manage it without dying, that would be great too. We'll see. Um, let's kill boss. There we go. So, yeah, I guess this works fine. It's not something I've ever tried or seen, but I just assumed it would work. Uh, it's not going to be great banners, for sure, but... Nice. Right back at ya. Alright, well, my last one here, I guess, is gonna be Jedi Knight Revan. I had forgotten I had him available. Um, somehow, some way. Let's get rid of, um, let's get rid of Spirit. That was nice and quick. And we'll get Foresight up. And let's go after Talia. Asajj is the only real threat here, but she's also the got the most health and whatnot. So I figure I'll um, take the other ones out first, and then be able to just manage her, and hopefully uh, take her down without losing any health and protection, like that. All right, so I did drop a battle on that Shock T clone squad, uh, which is frustrating. So only a 2642, but we will see if my opponent even comes back to attack. Again, I don't anticipate him being able to full clear me, even if he does start attacking. But we'll see. I'll be back in a bit to show you how it turned out. All right, we are back and we did get the victory. Let's take a look at how Patija did against my defense. He did come back to attack. And he did actually a little better than I thought he would. Down on the bottom here, he was able to clear off the whole bottom with one shots. Up top, he was able to one shot my Jedi Knight Luke, but he stumbled on my Basila team and it took him four tries to get through this Maul Marauder uh, Sith Empire Trooper squad. So that surprised me that he did so well on JKL, but struggled on the others. Down below here, he didn't really leave himself enough time to do much against these. He lost a battle against Mon Mothma, lost a battle against my Asajj Zombie and Newt, didn't even try my Darth Revan. And then in the back, he actually did get through my fleets. I was surprised. He dropped a battle initially against my Negotiator, but he was able to clean it up. So good job to him. I, I did not suspect he was gonna be able to get through that. In the end, it went about how I expected it to. Uh, 2642 to 2132. I want to thank Patisha for the match. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in next round.